Hello Cancer, I'm Susie from The Gift 202 and I'm going to read your cards for the week of the... The dog's here begging with the, this thing. For the week of the 8th of November, well the 7th to the 14th, it's the 7th today, so 7th to the 14th of November, Angel, Spirit, Guides, Universe, what would you like Cancer to know about the week of the 7th to the 14th of November? The 7th to the 14th of November. 7th to the 14th of November for Cancer, 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 Cancer. Week of the 7th to the 14th for Cancer. Week of the 7th to the 14th for Cancer. Week of the 7th to the 14th for Cancer. Angel Spirit Guides. 7th to the 14th for Cancer. Angel Spirit Guides Universe. Cancer, please, for this week of the 7th. Week of the 7th. Well, the week of the 8th. Week of the 8th of November. Month of the 8th of November, month of the 8th of November. For Cancer, for the 7th to the 14th of Cancer, for Cancer, 7th to the 14th of November, for Cancer please, Angel Spirit Guides Universe. What would you like Cancer to know about this week of the 7th to the 14th of November? 7th to the 14th of November. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Okay, right, there's obviously a reason. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, cancer. That's why there's a reason. That's the reason. Right, it's the same kind of thing that Gemini had. It looks like, what's on the bottom of this deck? Page of Cups. Really look after yourself this week. Drink lots of water. Be healthy. Uh, right, so, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is working hard on yourself. You're walking away for trying too hard in love. Maybe someone comes back or they're coming back out of the blue. While you're walking away, you see, it's like there's two eights here. Are you going round again? So you're working on yourself, you're walking away, blah, 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 blah. Then out of the blue comes dogs and bells and the cooker. Let me go and turn it on. Hold on a minute. shocking <laughs> because it's like a the happy family the happy home the wish come true um it's like whoosh the start of this week it's very emotional let me just say that eight of cups six of cups the tower ten of cups nine of cups okay so you're working on yourself and you're walking away but someone out of the blue could come to your home and it's a wish come true okay something nostalgic something from the past something you really love or someone you really love so you've got this page of swords here that thinks he knows it all and is coming in with a message uh someone wants to, it's like um you're getting an upgrade in relationships or in work but people are jealous of it very jealous of what you're about to get and you feel trapped by other people's jealousy. So you're going to untrap yourself from any third party, anything that keeps other people from finding anyone else. You realise you can walk away from these little trials and tribulations people have got, maybe at work. Okay. Well, they're just kind of jealous, I think, because you've got this happy family, you've got this nine of cups, you've got this... Um, upgrade in love, you've got an, a promotion... Uh, with something you love so you're untrapping yourself from this burden of, of, of difficulty or people just gossiping or you know and you're deciding to be on your own and follow this light at the end of the tunnel now there's some there's the devil here with the ten of wands so something if it's toxic it could end you could be ending a relationship up here when it smacks of being toxic okay and that you get a victory from ending that uh 
relationship or any of that toxic behaviour or ending a third party. If someone's being devilish, it's kind of manipulative. And it becomes a burden. It's some, someone else's drama with, with toxicity. So it's like you feel a bit stabbed in the heart, but it's almost like a great thing because you get this accolade, this... If you start falling in love, you're romantic, you're pulling in, you get absolute victory and a swift movement ahead. You're going somewhere right at the end of this week, Cancer, and you're in your absolute element, the same as Gemini. And again, this has come up for every single person so far. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Come up, Ten of Cups. Happy home, wish coming true, marriage. Is that what you want? Isn't it what you want? So, people are jealous. You are untrapping yourself from a situation that is, is you'll find it very difficult to herm it in so that you can, I don't know, it's like you feel this. The hermit is wise. The hermit follows the, his light at the end of the tunnel. But the devil is manipulative and toxic. It could be a Capricorn and a Virgo. Um, totally, it's very earthed. A very earth signs. So, it's kind of, you're unburdening yourself from this, bit, this behavior, this toxicity. And it might mean that you have to end a relationship because of it, but that's okay because it brings about, you get an accolade, you get the Holy Grail, your the Knight of Cups comes towards you with a message, you're like oh, swiftly going, you might even get a new car, like you're traveling, um, you're in your element cancer at the end of this, this week. Um, let's ask the angels what they'd like cancer so the romance angels what would you like? so just when you start working on yourself walking away from let, letting go and letting god something come from the past hits the home out of the blue it looks like a wedding or marriage or happy families love 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 wishes coming true except there's someone here that thinks they know it or they're gossiping they're talking and you're getting this upgrade in love. You're getting this promotion at work. Something you love to do. And um, it causes a bit of jealousy. So you have to untrap yourself. Be on your own. Not be influenced by the devil. Um, and that might be a burden to come. It's called uh, like a manipulative behaviour is causing this, this ending. And um, you get so rewarded for it. It's the love just comes rushing at you and you're just like, yes, this is balance. This is movement. This is victory. Angel spirit guides. What do you like? Cancer to know about the week of the eighth. Look, wedding. This situation involves marriage. I mean, because I'm getting this ten of cups and that's a couple of times the weddings come up. Are people deciding on their true love? Angel spirit guides. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Angel, spirit guides for cancer. You deserve love. You are lovable. And pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, there is a devil in the mix. You deserve love. Untrap yourself from anything that is, is worrying you or seems to be pushing you off the path to get this fleece. You're going to get the fleece anyway, but you may have to drop someone out to get it. Um, and it puts you in a strong position. Let me take this one more. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. By... By swerving this manipulative or toxic behaviour and ending something, maybe it's a third party, everything goes in your favour. Maybe someone is seeing you um, maybe someone can see you're about to get the fleece and they'll do anything it takes to not allow you to get that 
person or that accolade or that thing they're jealous and um pay attention to those red flags if you can't get somewhere little things go wrong we get a headache before we go out um this person could be married you might be marrying them uh there's an attraction here uh but you and you deserve love and make the effort great love is worth taking a step see great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take is this great love is this person married and there's an attraction you deserve love so pay attention to the red flags if it's not you're not getting that make the effort for great greater love so by ending something up here you get something greater let's ask the angels what you would like cancer to know for the week of the 7th to the 14th of november cancer week of the 7th to angels can you pick some cards please let's Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Patience. Now is the time to learn, study and gather information. Enjoy in being a student because in the future you will synthesise your knowledge into action. Watch the people. That's what. Pay attention. Watch people around you. How are they acting? Angels, spirit guides. What would you like cancer to know? Remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving and creative child of God. You are very loved. So it's saying you deserve love. There's pay attention to the red flags. Make the effort for better love, you know. Ask the angels is be patient. Because someone could be in this because they think you're good, about to get something. But I'm telling you now, end of the week, you are going to get some kind of victory and i think it's out of love because you've got the knight of cups coming in they want to come at you swiftly or you're moving toward them swiftly you're going to get like a group to two victories like love and within a group something like that joy okay so i hope i've helped you cancer take care of yourself and um i will speak to you soon Bye bye